The daily protest was not only going beyond the shores of the country, it found its way to the religious institutions where Pastor Tunde Bakari dedicated major part of the message to the call for the scrapping of SARS. Before the IG intervened, the fairy preacher condemns the ethnic coloration the agitation turned into. Now, as young men were protesting against the, ex ex the lawlessness of the special anti-robbery squad, do you know some young people in the north also have launched their own counter protest? And they said they were doing so on behalf of the 19 northern states of Nigeria that, oh, they don't mind the reformation of the SARS, but they should not be disbanded. They can be reformed. Nobody is paying attention that the bullet that they killed the people in the south will eventually consume those in the north, in the east, and the west if it is not stopped on time. He argues that the lawless officers must be made to face justice. Everyone within the police, especially the special anti-robbery squad who are now killing innocent citizens instead of dealing with robbers. I'm serving heaven's execution notice on them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Say to your neighbor, there is no peace for the wicked. The former running mate to President Muhammadu Buhari also calls for competence in leadership, which according to him should be prioritized above ethnic sentiment. That office is not permanent possession of any tribe, of any person, east, west, north, and south. May God be merciful on this nation that the best and the brightest and the fittest will be in the driver's seat of our nation. The youths involved in this protest have been commended by many. They are also advised not to rest on their horse, but rather continue the engagement with the authorities.